Introducing the Hi-Fi Mechanics LP12 Tips Tip 1 of 25 How to test the suspension Please understand that this particular deck is not set up correctly at this stage and over the course of upcoming videos we shall be stripping down and rebuilding this recently bought second-hand LP12 many times with various upgrades. In this, our first video, we are simply showing you where to place your finger and how to bounce the deck to determine what, if any, adjustments are required. The deck should be level, so too should be the platter and arm board. It is best to use very lightweight levels on the arm board and platter as a heavy level gives a false reading. During the bounce, we are looking for a consistent vertical pistonic movement. There should be no twisting motion of the arm board, no noise, and all three springs should move freely together. In addition, the arm board should be level with the plinth and have an equal gap. We shall be going into far greater detail in future advanced videos on how we set up the suspension with procedures to ensure every component is correct, which in turn reduces the setup time and most importantly, resulting in the best sound quality. Firstly, we ensure our tone arm is secure in its arm clamp and stylus guard is fitted before testing commences. Following this imaginary line, place one finger on the intersection where the edge of the record label would cross. Press down and allow your finger and arm to be pushed back up by the force of the springs. When the bounce reaches maximum height, press down again. It is crucial to maintain contact with your finger. Continue this until the springs have momentum. You can now release and look at how the suspension is performing. While the center of gravity does continue out from the edge of the record label towards the tone arm, we prefer to test the suspension at this point. A bonus is that one is also able to perform this test while playing a record. This should only be performed when supremely confident that the setup is 100% correct. It's not for the faint-hearted, believe me. Now, when testing the LP12's bounce, it's important that the deck is sitting on a solid surface, ideally a wall-mounted shelf or a unit sitting on a solid concrete floor. The reason for this is that as the deck's energy during the bounce will cause false results if sitting on an unstable surface as the deck itself sways. We are working on 24 more LP12 tips, so why not like, subscribe and ring our bell to catch each tip when it drops. We will also have advanced, detailed videos on upgrading components, what to look out for when buying a second-hand LP12, and many, many more. Until next time, thanks for watching. Disclaimer! These videos and tips are created for information only and represent the personal opinions, information and procedures of the Hi-Fi Mechanic. The Hi-Fi Mechanic does not accept any responsibility including damage, loss, injury or death as a result of undertaking your own tests, upgrades or enhancements. We strongly recommend contacting your local dealer for a professional service.